Hello, my name is Dave Smith, and I'm going to show you how to create a resume using MyFlashResume.com. Click here to create a resume, browse the templates to choose a template. In this case, I'm going to preview, let's say, this one here. Nice intro. You can put whatever you want for your intro here, of course, your name. I like the transition there. Buttons look nice. Okay. To choose your template, go ahead and click on the radial button. All right, now we just need to go in and fill it out. So in this case, I'm going to name my resume. It's very important if you have multiple resumes, you, you have uh, various industries that you're trying to appeal to. So in this case, I'm going to appeal towards the administrative assistant. Now, I'm going to enter an intro, introducing a very talented dot, dot, dot. Um, now, the buttons could be named anything. There are limitations to how much text can be fit into each button, um, depending on the resume template. So, in this case, uh, I'm going to keep it objective. I'm not going to change this. I already have this here. I'm going to copy or control C or command C or just right mouse click copy and I'm going to paste same thing control V or command V or right mouse button paste and in this case I'm going to change this uh, for this title button to employment history now the history may not show up um, but if it doesn't we'll find out even if employment shows up that's fine uh, I'm sure there's some other templates out there that will fit the entire, entire uh, excuse me, the entire uh, name. So I'm copying all my my info. I'm going to paste all my employment history in here. Okay, I'm just whipping through here. Um, you can see it's really quick. If you already formatted a resume, it it goes really quick. Uh, and what's great is you could create this resume, and later, if you want to create another resume, you could actually import all of this from the previous resume profile you've created on myflashresume.com which makes it very easy because then you could go in and edit and tweak to uh, to reflect more of the industry that you're trying to appeal to so I'm copying all this I've got the referrals let's put the ref uh, references in here let's put it down everything looks good yeah, this is where you could put audio in here some folks like classical we have some preset loops in here um, cityscape I have the audio turned off on your on the setting so you guys can't hear it right now but um, we have a bunch of different loops to choose from in this case I'm going to go no music um, just because I have the setting turned off on this screen capture record so there you go you have uh, various ways to manage your resume you got edit resume um, you can choose a different template uh, you have statistics to see how frequent your resume is being viewed by who. Uh, you got your flash preview. You have your print preview. And this is the, the resume that is the classic version. And you could delete it, of course, and create a new one. So let's let's find out how this looks. Let's see. Flash preview should show all the entries I've made. Yep. Introducing a very talented Dave Smith. Perfect. Okay, there's my objective. Let's check out employment. Okay, I see employment history did not make it, but employment is good good enough for this. Again, if you need the full text in there, um, browse through the resume templates because some of them allow more uh, text than others. Okay, this looks good. Very clean to the point. My resume. And see, I could put a website. If I had a portfolio site, I could have put it in there, but I didn't. All right, and let's uh, check out the print preview. See, now this is the classic version. It's already pre-formatted. It looks pretty much exactly like formatted resume. Looks very good. And notice up at the top, um, I don't know if you caught that, but there's a print button for the employer to click, so they could simply just print it out if they like that. Well, there you have it. There's your resume. Let's check out statistics real quick. See, 
Okay, so obviously I viewed it once, so it shows that it's been viewed once. So as time progresses, you'll see how frequently who's visiting.